interaction, that too happening at only limited intervals from the institution to interact with the faculties and other peers. Moreover, learners, wherever they are present, have to visit the university campus for taking the examinations. Exams has to happen as the, at the university campus within the territorial jurisdiction where the university is established. Now let's come and understand online mode of education. Learners who have enrolled for online mode actually has a privilege to study from their own place. They don't have to travel. So the institution, the university, we are offering you a learning management system, a robust learning platform, which you can access 24 bar 7, 365 days, a self-paced learning. At your own pace, you can log in. At your own convenient time, you can log in and learn from that. But I re earnestly request all my learners to log into the portal every day, right? Irrespective of whether it is a working day for you or a holiday, please log into the portal and keep every day as a learning day. Limited time, one hour every day, just go through the contents. What to study, how to study, we are going to discuss in detail. But uh, everyday learning makes you comfortable, makes you to prepare for exam, makes you to get enough knowledge on the subject. So make every day as a learning day is a request. So using this learning management system, you get to access all possible learning resources. You call it, you have tutorials, you have video lectures, you have simulated environment, you have programming platforms, you have assessments, you have question papers, you have resources. All those things are available. Moreover, there is a discussion forum is available for you to clear your academic doubts as well. That means your classroom, virtual classroom is given to you, which you can access 24 bar 7 which is cannot be the case in a campus mode or a distance mode, right? Your interaction with the faculty is strengthened here. It is not just the learning management system. The faculties are to be going to be connected with you throughout the academic journey. Every weekend, as per the calendar, which we are going to discuss, the faculties will conduct live sessions virtually through Microsoft Teams. So every weekend there is a calendar and every week there is just four live sessions. So professionals, you don't have to crib about anything. Over the weekend, you can attend these live sessions, right? And all these sessions are recorded. That means at a later point of time, in case you miss the session or you want to redo the session, you want to take a recap of the session, you can do it anytime. All these sessions are recorded and these recorded versions are going to be uploaded in the learning management system. So your classes are available to you every time. Whenever you want to just go through it, you can play those recordings. But I request all learners to attend these live sessions, make it a point of uh, an opportunity for you just to connect with the faculties, make it very interactive, right? It is a two-way communication. So classes are held for every chapter during these live sessions. Faculties are also connected with you during the weekdays. There will be discussion forum, a separate calendar for academic doubt clearance, for orientations. There will be number of sessions over the weekdays also. And all such sessions, orientations and live classes will get recorded. Now, not only faculties. During these classes, you also get the opportunity to interact with your peers, the other learners. Using the discussion forum and the live classes or an opportunity to interact with your peers and faculties as well. More important that you get to have access to all learning resources and you can cover that your own pace. When it comes to examinations, you can attempt exams from your place of convenience, either from home or from office or any other place where you will find a silent zone to be working on learner engagement and improving the quality. And we will be always connected with you. Manipal University Jaipur is a state private university established in Rajasthan in 2011. We have completed 10 years and we are in the decennial year now celebrating. It's a privilege to offer this online program to all the learners who deserve it. And we request you to be uh, connected with us and make every day as a learning day. As part of the online degree program, we are offering you UGC recognized program with a lot of flexibility, convenient built into the system. So we will see what kind of flexibilities are there, what convenience is there. 
in which your campus learner, your experience in campus uh, is there, plus over and above, you get a lot of flexibility which is not there in the campus. Our curriculum are robust, contemporary, industry relevant, and we are continuously in touch with the industry experts. Keep revising you for your higher education as well as for your career options. Best of the faculties will be interacting with you, guiding you, conducting classes for you over the weekends. And also at times we will get industry speakers to come and talk to you virtually. Our mentors are ready. They will be connecting with you shortly, dedicated mentors. Right. And we also have the examination system, which is ready for online. Right. And the exam is going to happen every six months for you. Semester based exam. We have we have the calendar ready, which we have already shared with you. I hope all of you have got the welcome email and the welcome email and uh, through which you can access the student portal, which we are going to discuss. Right. Welcome email actually clearly describes of all the various facilities, features that you will be going through in this formal mode of education. Right. So degrees are well recognized. You will get the certificates uh, on time when you completely successfully complete the program. So we are there to help you uh, all across this program. Let me now introduce you to the student portal. The student portal is a one stop shop, right? So this portal is going to take care of all your requirements. All of you have been given the access to the student portal. I hope all of you have received the welcome email your login credentials, your email ID given by the university at the rate mujonline.edu.in domain along with your role number is your login ID and password is also shared with you. So I hope everybody has logged in. In case anybody has challenges to log in, please take the help of our support team. Right? We are going to start the session startly. The September 2022 is your first month of the academic session. We, are, we have done the pre-orientations. Today, we are having the jumpstart orientation. And the next week, we are having the program orientation for all of you. So connected, be connected with the portal. Get the portal access resolved in case if there is any issue. Talk to us and write to us. We will we'll get. I'm getting good feedback from all the learners who have already started accessing the learning management system. In the portal, we have given you the profile. Under the profile, you have every right to change your connects, the contact number, the email ID, as well as your address. Please ensure that you give us the updated contact number, email ID, and address so that we are always connected with you. You can update it anytime. But in case you are changing your place or changing your email ID, update it quickly. Right? You can just log in and you can do it in a, in a flick of a time. You can write to us, talk to us. All these service requests are actually collected and the resolutions are also, you can see from the portal. I'm going to show you the live portal also. Under what's new, you will have all the important announcements, information that is required for you. Currently, if you see, you have the university calendar, academic calendar, what we call as, which will detail you all the activities to be done in the next six months until your examination, which is going to be held in the end of February or early March 2023, right? So be connected with us. The calendar will explain everything in detail to you. Payments to the university is done from the student portal, very safe and secure zone. Also, you get to access all the payment receipts, acknowledge, acknowledgements that you need, fee receipts that you need from the student portal. Courses. We have enabled for all of you the semester one courses, MBA, BBA, MCA, BCA, MCOM, BCOM, and the journalism mass communication. Whatever your course being, your program, currently you can see the semester one courses and the appropriate credits under the courses, right? We will discuss more about it. Moreover, all learners have access to e-library. Good number of PDF books, recommended books are there. Free access to e-library is already enabled. So in case you have any challenges, do write to us, right? I, we have got few requests which we have resolved. E-library is a good one for those learners who need to refer books. It is not mandatory. If you are referring some additional books, you can always go to e-library and refer those online books. More important, learning management system. The place where you get the portal, learning portal, 
where you go there and access all the resources. There are a number of good lecture videos, books written by the university faculty, right, reviewed by peers, and which got a lot of case studies, journals, access, right? All those things are there. And discussion forums will be enabled shortly. Question papers are there, right? All those things, what you need for the course is there. Please log into learning portal, which we are going to demonstrate for you shortly, right? And keep every day as a learning day, right? All these features, access to your university email, everything is there for you. In addition to that, you also have access to Coursera, which we are going to discuss in detail shortly. The support system. Let me introduce the support system to you. We are, we are available seven days a week. So our mentors who are there to resolve your academic queries are available, right? In case you have any challenges, you want to talk to the mentors. In fact, mentors will be talking to you. It is a two-way communication. Right? Mentors will be calling you. Mentors will be guiding you. Mentors are monitoring your progress. So be connected with the mentors. They will be interventions. They will give you advice, suggestions, resolve your academic doubts. And these mentors work closely with the university faculty. Right? So be connected with them. Also, we have a robust support system where our support executives are there. We are present from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Monday to Saturday and 9 to 2 on Sundays. Any challenges, any issues, any clarification, any support that you need, just call us or write to us and we'll get it resolved for you. Right? We are continuously monitoring them, guiding them on ensuring that our learners are always having the comfort and have a good experience with the learning journey. So stay connected with us and get the maximum support. Right? So you can write to us. We are going to enable WhatsApp also. We have an email ID, help desk at the rate, MUJ online. We have a support number, call us anytime, and we are there to help you. Now let's come into the learning part. Learning is very important activity which you need to carry out every day from now on until the entire duration of the course. For that, we have enabled all the flexibility that is required. That means Online learning is facilitated by any device, Windows, uh, you can have iOS, whether it is a laptop, desktop, mobile phones, right? Any tablets, you can access our learning portal from any device, any OS, but ensure that you learn every day, bit by bit, half an hour, 15 minutes, one hour, two hour, four hours, whatever is possible. What we have done is basically all the learning resources are organized in a very meaningful way. We call it as a four quadrant approach. The first quadrant is all the tutorials, video lectures from faculty, from industry experts, along with the transcripts is available under the e-tutorial. Virtual labs are there for IT students. You can go there and practice programming, right? E-content, the books, Every course, every chapter, the books are written by the university faculty. It is just enough for a learner to go through these books. In addition to that, if you want, faculty will recommend books. You also have the access to e-library. Those are references. But what you should do, must do, is read from the books that we have given. It will not only help you to learn the subject, it will help you to prepare for exams as well, to do your assignments, to be prepared for exams, the e-content is important. Discussion forum is a place where you get all your academic doubts, course-related doubts, clarified by the faculty. You also have an assessment quadrant where you can go and practice the papers, question papers and quizzes over there so that you get prepared for exam. These are practice and not for marks. The practice quizzes in the assessment are only for practice. You can practice unlimited time and understand the subject thoroughly and get ready for the examinations. So learning, connecting with the faculty, clarifying doubts and the assessment, everything is enabled for you for all the courses of semester one. The quizzes are there. Just practice those quizzes. It will help you to understand the subject better, help you in examination point of view also. Whenever you have a doubt, academic doubt, content-related doubt, please post it in the discussion forum so that 
the peers and the faculties will be able to address it and then you will get all your academic doubts clarified we will have a dedicated calendar for that also during the weekdays the faculty members will come and connect with you and resolve your academic doubts over the weekends are the interactive classes that will happen right so we are connected all seven days of the week with you e library access is 365 days 24 by 7 go and refer books whatever you need take help from faculty to get the reference book titles it is available to you also so learning is actually supported heavily by the faculty and by the university to you live classes only at weekends very minimal intervention two class on saturday two class on sunday that's it so saturday is generally second half we have our classes at around 3 3 30 faculty will start the classes on saturday till 6 6 30 and sundays it is starts morning at 10 30 and then it will be there till 1 noon coming sunday the faculty the hod's are going to talk to you so the calendar will be made available to all of you don't miss that session and please talk on sun the connect with us on sunday and uh, connect with the hod's as well right so live classes are there and doubt clearing sessions are there as well now every activity that we want to share with you we will connect with you will be calendarized live classes over the weekend discussion forum over the weekdays orientation sessions all will be informed prior informed to you and the calendar you can see for yourself and whatever calendars is visible for you that you should attend is that clear so that will be visible i'll show you where you will get the calendar for learners who have joined for it program right very simple the programming lab is enabled for you first wait for the orientation from the faculty you don't have to run around to do practicals you don't have to download any software you don't have to ask anybody the faculty and the faculties will be guiding you how to use the virtual lab right and for all bc and mc assignment and examinations for practical subjects as well along with viva all these assignments and exams happens in the programming environment right any other like any other subjects practical subjects also there is a mandatory assignment as well as exam along with an viva every learner of bc and mca should do it every semester there are practical courses as well we'll see that in detail all the analytics that we are generating is helpful for us in order to understand your requirements and we will stay connected we will help you it is all personalized for you and what is more important is the experience that you get from this portal but please log in be connected with your peers connected with the faculty through the learning portal and make every day as a learning day e tutorial there is close to 20 hours of video content good number of contents from all faculties industry experts along with the transcripts for you to read there are simulated platforms there are virtual labs so it's very interesting it's just whenever time permits you go through the e-tutorial get the best of the perspective view of the faculty and experts on every topic related to the course among all the four quadrant e-content is the important one more, most important one books we have given with a lot of illustrations, case studies, right, activities. Please go through these books, which are self-instructional material, self-learning, simple language, right, with a lot of question answers built in. It is just enough if you read from these books. I'm sure that you'll be able to get good marks in exams as well. But read thoroughly from the book. Read before attending the classes so that your classes has to be interactive, right? Come to the classes prepared, pre-reading books and keep reading and revising from this so that your exams are going to be a very good experience for you. Discussion forum is always open. Whenever you have an academic or content related doubt, log into discussion forum and just raise a query and this will be resolved by your peers as well as the faculty members. Also, we have dedicated time over the weekdays for the discussion forum classes. That will be a calendar for that separately. Every course there are going to be two hours of discussion forum doubt clarification class every week. That means if you have six courses, you have 12 hours of discussion forum for an MBA learner. 
right so self assessment quizzes are enabled go and practice this this quizzes will tell you how confident you are whether you have read everything correctly if you are making a mistake if you don't know a subject it will also guide you with the right answers you can practice this quizzes unlimited number of times right and these are not for marks these are only for practice so i hope it is clear let's move forward now very important to note that every learner has to have a minimum requirement of getting 75% of learning requirement completed it is similar to attendance in a campus but here since you don't have to visit campus right you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to ask anybody for learning purpose don't take anybody's support other than the university faculty and mentors it is all for you by you at your own convenience so how to get this on free person attendance i will clarify it for you first and foremost is a e content the books we have given in the pdf format which i am going to show to you read from the books every course every chapter for big to begin with we also given the e content in the epub format for mobile readers they can use the content with appropriate epub readers read from the book read every day read one subject a week and then the next subject so that it is a uniform progress is there don't just stick to one subject one course read equally give an equal attention to all the courses maybe once in a week or 10 days you have to keep moving from one course to other course every course has an assignment to be submitted right so there is only one assignment to be submitted per course in that assignment you have two sets each set has three questions that means in total you have just six questions the six questions for each course you have to submit as an assignment it is not handwritten i am repeating not handwritten but type in the computer because sometimes we are we are, we are not sure if handwriting is not legible you will lose the marks so we don't recommend handwritten it should be only typed neatly that will also give you the practice for online exam it should be submitted as a pdf format only right so submitting of assignments attending live classes every weekend there is a live class calendars will be drawn up coming sunday is there is a class right so if you miss to attend no worries we will record these sessions and the recorded sessions will be available to you throughout your course so just just don't worry i missed the session what will happen fine fair enough go through the recorded session either you can attend the live sessions or go through the recorded sessions if you do the first three things reading submitting assignment on time and attending the live classes or the recorded classes your 75% is taken cap don't ask what is my attendance what is my attendance keep reading every day attendance is by default given to you right you will get the minimum 75% done but every day should be a learning day for the balance 25% yes there are quizzes and model question papers which you can revise and do that one the tutorials video tutorials which i am going to demonstrate you can see those tutorials right it is not mandatory that you have to cover all the tutorials it is good to see the tutorials as and when you find time 10 minute 15 minute idhar udhar aapko time mile tha to travel time mein bhi aap videos ko dekh sakte hai so tutorials are there which is good knowledge sharing by the faculties go through these videos and transcripts are there for you to ready study before the exam other learning resources are there links are there curated links 4 5 1 6 are the balance 25% it is enough if you do 1 2 3 if you read every day from the e content if you attend the live classes every weekend or the recorded sessions if you submit the assignments on time in the semester your 75% is taken care don't worry about attendance your focus should be on learning and reading every day right we move forward a quick recap 75% of learning requirement is a must for every learner so keep learning every day to get this 75% attendance weightages for exam exam is for 100 marks it is divided into two parts 30 pa 30 marks for assignment so every course 30 marks is given for assignment that means you have one assignment to submit faculty will evaluate and you will be given 30 marks and semester end that means end of february march 2020 23 you will have an exam to take 
Exam is online, no pen and paper. You should type. Exam has three sections. Every exam has a three sections. Every exam is for three hours. One exam is for three hours. Make the best use. Just don't hurry up and complete everything in one hour and go out. Right? Write for two and a half, three hours. Think well for the answers. Frame it in the mind. Type your answers. That is important. 20 marks is for MCQ. 10 questions, two marks each. Every right answer will give you two marks. No negative marking. I repeat, we... That means you have to write online. You have to type it online. There are two sections under that. I will show you a model question paper. I will show you the paper pattern as well. So in the descriptive, there are two sections, short and long questions. In the case of short questions, you will be given six questions. You have to answer only four, five marks for each, 20 marks you get there. And for long questions, you have four, you have to answer only three, 10 marks for each, you get 30 marks. So total 70 marks. 20 plus 20 plus 30. Exams are technology enabled, remote proper exams. Exams are from the place of convenience. Exam day time slot is going to be decided by you. Slots booked by you. We will give you options, multiple options. Different time slot, different day, different order. If you say I want to take the toughest exam first, please take it. If you say I want to take the easiest paper first, please take it. Your call, your choice. We will facilitate. Right? So slots are done by you. We, get, we have got a system called as online exam booking. So you will book slots, you will take exams. It is online exam. Remote proctored by our faculty. Faculties will be monitoring you throughout the exam. They will be guiding you. They will be instructing you on the do's and don'ts. Right? Kindly listen to our proctors, our faculty members, and just follow their instructions while taking exam. No deviations, no unfair practices. If you find that you are deviating or having an unfair practice, you will be marked for malpractice. Don't get yourself into trouble. Right? So it is very easy, convenient. You have to just find the silent zone at home, at office, and take exams as per your convenience. And exams is only over the broad weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, not during the weekdays. And we have also a concept called as rescheduling. Suppose by chance, there is a challenge, you are not able to take exams as per the slots decided. You can ask us, we will reschedule the slots for you, but within the calendar timelines of the university, as per the norms of the university. We will give you options. Exam pass mark, very simple, 40 marks. That means in assignment, you should take 40 marks out of 30. 40% 40 is 12 marks. 12 out of 30 in assignment, which is 40%. 28 out of 70 in exam, which is 40%. So both you have to score minimum 40% and put together it should be 40. But believe me, if you, if you learn every day, if you study from the books, if you attend the live classes or go through the recorded classes, if you submit assignments on time as per our guidelines, you will not get less than 70, 80 marks in exam easily. Right? Start preparing for the exams from day one today. Start learning. Make your notes. Attend the live classes. Get your doubts clarified. Do the assignments on time. Attend all the orientation session. You will see the marks with bright colors, 80, 90. Easily you can score. Right? At the end of every exam, the university will take six to eight weeks to evaluate, declare the result. Results will be declared on time. Your grade mark statement will be available to you within one month of the evaluation. So this mark statement, you can pull it out by yourself. It will be uploaded in your portal and you can keep it for your records. It will have all the details about your score, exams, right? Your grades that you are getting along with mode of delivery, which is online as to be mentioned as per the UGC mandate. So mark sheet is online, PDF copy. Having said that, once you successfully complete the program and get eligible for the award of degree, your final degree awarded by Manipal UC Jaipur will reach your residence, hard copy printed, signed by Honorable Vice Chancellor. It will reach your residence 
your communication address wherever you are in the globe along with the consolidated marks card issued by the university both the degree copy as well as the marks card will be printed and sent to your communication address kindly ensure you have the complete address right complete right from door number till your pin code zip code city state country everything mentioned right so that there is no hassles for us to dispatch your degree certificates on time you will get the degrees within 3 months once you successfully complete the program right everything is on time we are prepared we will facilitate as we describe the way it is given and we wanted you to learn every day and we we want to give you the best experience stay connected with us a quick recap assignments are there for every course assignments are normally given one month after the session starts september it is started end october november you will find your assignments you can start working on assignments unlike a campus where you are given a limited time to submit assignment in online mode of education you have close to 2 to and of up to 3 months to submit your assignments as per the guidelines so you get the opportunity to work on the assignment from day 1 keep revising your assignment write it properly discuss with the faculty for any doubts and submit the assignments you have solid 3 months time to submit assignment but within the timelines mentioned by the university each assignment i told you it's of two sets and each assignment average of marks are taken and 30 marks will be awarded in the assignment maximum 30 marks examinations uh, we discussed already is remote proctored online exams so there will be exam tool you can take exams from your own base of convenience all you need to have is a windows system a laptop or a desktop with with a web camera enabled a stable internet connection so if you have this your exams are done we'll give you guidelines hardware software guidelines we will help you to install the software there is a exam software which is called as safe exam browser acb so we will help you to install this it just takes hardly couple of minutes to install so that the software is important for you to take exams and also please note there are practice exams mock exams which is mandatory for you to take to check the system health right so our technical team will be there supporting you and helping you to install and helping you to take the mock exams before the exams please do that it is mandatory right exam is for 3 hours 70 marks we have seen there is a mcq 20 marks no negative marking and descriptive written part is for 50 marks all the required calculator tools for scientific formula writing statistics accounts everything is enabled so you don't have to have a separate any device usage of mobile phones calculators devices books all are barred during exams whatever you need is enabled in the exam portal you will have a calculator if you need you will have some tools for writing statistical formulas we will train you on that also there is orientation right so we will help you to get ready for exam just follow the instructions and more important book your slots be prepared and appear for exams as per the slots online exam booking will open as per the calendar which we are going to discuss and this exam slot booking you can book your own slots you can ask us to give you convenient slots we'll try to give you convenient slots as per the university norms and every day there is an exam you can take exams on any time slot as decided by the university so each exam is available some days it will be in morning afternoon or some other days evening so you can accordingly take our help and book the slots right so every the flexibility is built into the exam but we request you to be prepared for exam read well for exam appear for exam without any unfair practices and keep a stable system windows laptop only no ios or any other device just have a stable internet connection and your exam experience we assure you it is going to be the best experience 40% is a pass mark but if my learners study every day you are easy to score 80 90 marks in exam we will help you to prepare for that right so we move forward from here now comes the delight we are going to discuss something very important for you coursera manipal we are the education partners for coursera 
So what is that mean for you? You will all have a free, unlimited access to Coursera during your course period, program period, two years, three years. You can enroll for any program of your choice in Coursera. Coursera is going to help you to own up your skills. I request my colleague Gujwal to talk to you in detail about Coursera. And the login to Coursera is there in this learner portal itself, student portal. Once you log in, you will find Coursera also there. Ujwal, over to you. Thank you, Ramkita. All right, for those of you who are new to Coursera, it is a massive open online course provider that was founded by Stanford professors. And it's a great value add. And you as a Manipal University Jaipur student get free access to it. And there is no cap to the number of courses that you can do here. So it's got fantastic content that's curated, not just from educators, but also from leading organizations all across the world. So you will have access to, uh, I think, close to 10,000 courses now that will supplement your learning at Manipal University, Jaipur, and it will help you acquire industry relevant knowledge and skills. So your faculty has shortlisted the most relevant courses aligned to your curriculum in three buckets. One is syllabus oriented, so these are courses that are directly aligned to what you're going to, the subjects you're going to be covering in that semester. The second bucket is career readiness. These are topics that um, are aligned to your domain in general. And the third one is your professional or personal development, which focus on the softer skills, uh, things like communication, business etiquette, et cetera. So, and of course, you are not limited to these. These are just to help you get started because it can get overwhelming when you log in and you know there are 10,000 courses to choose from. So we've just made it easy for you. These are things that you can start, in, uh, start with. You can explore other courses as well of any other topic that interests you. So every semester, we will be refreshing the content on Coursera that will be most relevant to your syllabus. Every month, we will send you Coursera recommendations so you can uh, directly enroll from the email. They'll be also uploaded on the student portal. So everything is literally just a click away. You log into the student portal. Uh, there'll be Coursera recommendations there. See which course interests you. And you can just click by, uh, I mean, you can enroll by just clicking the enroll now button. So it's going to be really valuable for you to, you know, enroll and more than enroll, complete these certification courses and acquire employable skills and add these certifications to your professional profiles. So we do get, uh, I, I know a lot of you are going to have very similar questions. We've had students before you ask these. So we cover them uh, right now. First question everyone asks is, do you have to pay for the courses or the certificates to download the certificates? No, you don't have to. All our active and currently enrolled students get complete free access to Coursera. You don't have to pay for any of the courses, uh, not even to download the certificates. So there are some courses for which a fee payment needs to be done, but those are courses like degree programs that other universities are offering. So if you sign up for a degree program that another degree, uh, university is offering, that is something you'll need to pay for. But otherwise, the 10,000 courses that we have for you in our catalog, those are completely free of cost. Then, is content from Coursera included in exams? No, it is not. Coursera, once again, is not part of your curriculum. It is to supplement your learning. So, uh, in fact, there's a student who asked, uh, what if you want extra information on Java or Python or you know, other programs? Explore Coursera. It's a fantastic platform for you to start exploring Coursera to learn additional things which are relevant to your program. Then uh, the other question is, will you have free access to it after you complete your program? Please remember your free access is available only to currently enrolled students of MUJ. So if you decide to take a break between semesters or uh, you know, after you graduate, your free access will be revoked, but uh, that, which is why we're insisting that you take advantage of Coursera right from today, log in, acquire, sign up for courses, get those certificates, acquire those skills that you will need as soon as you graduate. Ramki sir, back to you. Thank you, Ujwal. So learners, Coursera is going to add value to your learning. So please make the best use of this during your academic journey. 
even though it is not going to be anything to do with the exams it will help you to own up your skills it will help you to get a, a extended access for all the courses of your passion in analytics or any other related areas keep doing the courses i'm getting a lot of good feedback from learners and keep adding these courses whatever you complete to your profile to your cv and to your linkedin update also this is going to help you in your career options and enhancements at a later point of time so it's a blessing and make the best use of it and it is going to be an edge over you when you attend interviews and other things uh, for your career options right so get prepared for it and keep every day as a learning day make your time allocate dedicated time for coursera at least over the weekends and keep doing the courses one by one right so let's come back for other important updates okay now let me just um, show you the calendar we'll just discuss the calendar now right now every one of you has got access to the calendar the calendar is made available in the learning portal every semester you to begin with you will have the calendar so this is applicable for the first semester your session starting is september 2022 it is already started you all have access to the learning portal keep every day as a learning day access learning resources keep reading right your first session from the faculty members is scheduled for 25th of september hods are going to address you don't miss that session so academic session has started and your live classes will be there from october to december so your live classes over the weekends your calendar will be there you can just access this uh, 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 the live classes and be participating the live classes from october to december just a second just one second Shweta Singh, you had asked this question about when the live classes will start. We hope this answers that. Sorry. Um, yeah. Now I was discussing the calendar, and uh, when you are uh, seeing the calendar, the way you should understand this. the live sessions are from october to december during the weekends you have the live classes and weekdays you will have the discussion forum classes so you will have a separate calendar for discussion forum as well now assignments you will be getting it from end of october so assignment you can work from november onwards november december if required in january we'll give you time for submitting the assignment as per the norms of the university right so all these timelines are mentioned here examinations is going to be february march 2023 end february march it starts exam right so get ready for this it is already announced so we will put up the calendar and for the exams the first activity is first you will get slot booking options three week before the exam then you will have option for mock exams prepare well for the mock exams get your systems is checked by the technical team then for those learners who have enrolled for it programs bc and mca you will have your practical exams before your theory exam for bca there is one course practical course for mca there is two practical courses to start with so such practical exams also will be held over the weekends all these exams are over weekends only so we will inform you we will help you to book slots so it is not going to be a surprise for you the calendar is given even today right so just get prepared for the exam results will be declared from 6 to 8 weeks from the last date of the exam and please note after the exams gets over february march your semester 2 will start no break typically there is no academic break so all learners are expected requested to remit the fees for the higher semester and ensure that you get the course enrolled for the higher semester which is automatically done once you remit the fees there is no manual intervention you will find your learning management system currently you will have only semester one courses when you when the exams gets over when you pay the fees you will get access to semester two course as well so the only courses will stay put there you can go back and refer if you want right so there is no academic break 
MBA two years means six semesters into four. So if you if you can give breaks, then you are not able to complete the MBA in two years. You don't have to wait for results. It is not a barrier. Results are not barrier. Results are an activity which gets over with the exam. So you will have the mark sheets with us over, but uh, your semester two will start immediately after your exam. There will be expert uh, seminars, there will be industry lectures, and the classes of the live classes. Your resource access, everything will start soon after the exam. So get ready for this journey, and uh, we will give you calendar in advance for every six months, and we'll stick to the calendar. This will be as per the UGC mandate. UGC has mandated that semester one should start from September 2022. We have commenced our classes. We have given you access to learning resources. Our faculty is also is going to have sessions. Our mentors are going to be connected with you during the session. They will give you the welcome call. So all these things are arranged, or scheduled, or calendarized, and you be part of this academic journey for next two years and three years, right? So February, March. Will be semester one exam. Similarly, your semester two exam will be six months down the line, August September. Then again, September October will be semester two. Then again, February March, twenty twenty four will be your uh, semester three exam. By twenty twenty four end, PG learners will complete the program. That is two years, twenty two twenty four. You will complete, and by. December 2025, UG learners will complete. 22, 25, you will also complete the course. So all are planned, prepared, calendarized, and we are ready to deliver. Stay connected with us and keep every day as a learning day, right? So this is your calendar for semester one. This is already available for learners in the portal. Now let me show you about the portal, right? When I come to the portal, you can see this is the student portal, right? So I'll just so everything is menu driven. Your courses, which I am going to discuss with you about important announcements, access to e-library through our service provider, Nimbus, payments, all the other things, your profile, everything is enabled here in a menu form as well as in a tile form. Your access to learning management system, you have to just go and click here. You have the link for logging to the student portal is given in the welcome email. Hope all of you have received the mail. All of you have logged into the portal. If you have challenges, talk to us. Write to us. The portal access is important. Keep logging to portal every day because you will find all the important announcements. You will have access to your email ID, right? You can go to your email ID, log into email ID. Everything is here. So email notifications are enabled. Your announcements are enabled currently. You have calendar. Your recommendations for Coursera, all has been enabled for you, right? So and also your access to Coursera is enabled for you. So click here to log into Coursera, and uh, re-registration time will appear when exams gets over, and you can pay the fees at the time using the re-registration tab, right? This is a demo portal. Your access to e-library is also enabled. You can go there and visit the library. You can download few of the books, and you can refer all books that are in the library. Your queries that you write to us, you get the response as per the SLAs. You can see how many queries you have sent. What is the status? You can raise a query ticket here, right? The student help desk visibility is there for you over here. Your payment is going to be enabled from the student portal. Currently, you can see the payment you have already made to the university for semester one. And also, you will be able to uh, get the fee receipts from the portal itself. So everything that you need, right? Log into the learning portal. Log into Coursera. Log into Outlook email ID. Log into e-library. Everything is enabled for you in the portal. It's a one-stop shop. Your all your needs are taken care, right? Let me just take you to your profile. Your profile. Is the place where you can see the details about your name, contact number, and address that you have shared. If you want to edit, just go there. You can see the edit, the pencil mark. So click on this, and you will be able to edit. You will be able to edit only minimal information. That means your email ID, personal email ID. You can edit and give us the latest email ID. Your connects, your phone numbers. You can edit. Give us the right number so that we are always connected. Your address, the complete address with the pin code and zip code is required. 
so that we actually deliver the the degree and mark sheets to you on time so you can update all these things right at any point of time please keep it updated right and that is important and also in the portal you can download your id card you have to keep your id card and you have to use your id card during exams you have to show the id card wherever you want to go as a student and uh, not to the university you don't have to come in you keep it with you so that you can use this student id card right and if you are planning to come to university please bring the id card you can always visit us as a visitor i welcome you please get your id card at the time right you can also use this portal to download all documents whatever you have submitted time of admission your mark sheets your grade mark statement which will be given to you after every exam you can download you don't have to ask anybody you don't have to run around all at your fingertips you can do that at your own time and all the fee receipts that you paid you can just avail from the portal itself so to repeat to make it simple portal is a one stop shop all your learning requirements all your support requirements all your connects everything is made available in the portal right so log into portal look for important announcements of course we will update you at times we will send you some important messages be attentive to that our mentors will call you our support team will reach out to you for any help we will write emails only if required we don't want to spam your email box calendars will be put up in the lms which i am going to show you don't expect all emails because you might miss out on something you have to be notified that is important how to notify i will tell you right so log into portal every day now let me take you to the learning management system right so to get into the learning management system just you have to go there and click here once you click you get access to the learning management system learning management system is customized for you only those courses which you need to study learn right will be made available to you so once you log into the learning management system you can see your profile you can upload your photo here in the profile you can just make changes in the profile the grid nine box grid will give you the courses that has been enrolled for you right only all the courses important for you you will see that you will not see any extra course or additional courses over there right so these are courses what is meant for you your notifications whatever university would like to update alerts notifications is enabled for you you can see such notifications over here right and and your profile is here right you can just make the profile and your notifications i will take you to the notification first once you go to the notification you can see first about the pulse app update so we are giving you mobile app for to learn in the play store android as well as ios you can go there download bright space pulse app the app name is pulse app and the credentials is similar to the login credentials what we have shared through the welcome email the how to log into pulse app we have given the details in the email itself right so pulse app is important keep learning from the app as well you can go through the videos go through the contents from the app as well right and below that you will see all the notification pertain to announcements pertain to assignment submissions pertain to content upload pertain to discussion forums pertain to e portfolio which you can build pertain to your grades all these notification enable the email notification so that you get automatically notified we don't have to send email once you enable it here any important announcements anything that we put you will automatically get notified save it once the email notifications are enabled due to geo constraints we have not enabled sms so just enable the email notification and keep yourself notified right that is important right now in the learning management system you can see the important announcements over here and all the calendars is available here for you whatever is important i will show you the calendars e library access is enabled right if if you go down in the, the portal you can see the calendar for yourself log into the learning portal every day you can see that there is a notification 
uh, this is not for you but what is important for you only will show so there is a date time what event is going to be conducted this is currently exams are going on and for that this notification is there this is not meant for you but having said that the classes that you need to attend the important seminars that you need to attend all that notifications will be coming in the upcoming events in the calendar so each of these notification you will find the calendar the invite right the guidelines and the links to join so just get yourself updated by the calendar right that is important and you can see the classes right you can see classes that you need to attend will be highlighted right when you click on this you will see the link for those classes assignment notifications are there right all those things are there at your fingertips so you don't have to ask anybody you don't have to uh, just go around right so everything will be notified by default to you right so please log into this notification it will give you link for the classes as well right so career support sessions will be enabled for you you will find the links for all the classes to join all such events are taken care using microsoft teams you will be actually you have been given the instructions guidelines how to install teams in your desktop laptop mobile phones please install microsoft teams and log in using university email id and when you click here it will give you a seamless access to your classrooms a kind note to all those teams users who are already using teams if you are using from your official other ids you have to sign out and sign in using university email id to have a hassle free seamless access to the classes is it clear so log into portal please check for yourself right all the important announcements that is there for you and just stay connected with us right you don't have to ask when is my next class uh, is a weekend there is a class is going to be there or not every information is given to you over here in this place itself right you can get you can see your academic calendar you can see the calendars of what all sessions you need to attend everything is here other important guidelines will be made available to you right about exam guidelines all those guidelines will be made available to you and the tutorials access right for all the new learners we have given you the tutorials of introduction to your degree program your walk through through the learning portal you are navigating how to navigate lms is enabled for you just go through this familiarize yourself any guest lecture that happens the links will be enabled here you can just recorded sessions are here right experts weeks we always get experts to talk to you and those sessions are also recorded it is made available to you here so we are there providing every support to you for learning to give you the best experience you have to just stay connected with us right now let me just get into a classroom how learning happens right your courses my courses you can see tiles these tiles are virtual classroom each and every tile is a classroom that means when you enter into the classroom you get to have an opportunity to have access to all the resources pertaining to the subject have the opportunity to interact with faculties from the classroom right so let me take an example right let me take marketing management all classroom look and feel ui ux experience is one and the same right i will give you a sample classroom today let me take one subject marketing management learners all the courses that is important for you is already enabled right so only those courses are visible there right so in the marketing management when you go you can see the course name over here then it will give you the unit wise tiles right so every unit is called as a chapter so how the courses are there the content if you go through the content for the courses pre reading material it is well organized a modular approach right so in the modular approach you can see the content is given starts with the course introduction about the course what is the importance of doing this course right what do you learn from this course the description of the course the objectives of doing this course everything is given here just read it it is useful for you to understand the importance of the course and then followed by that you will have chapters 
in the student portal when you go there under the courses you can see for example this is for mba right there are six courses mandatory any course listed here will be mandatory provided it has got a credit assigned to that if a credit is zero that means it is a optional course you just need to study there is no exam for that one thing in the case of mca there is one fundamental programs are there bridge programs are there so other than the bridge program any course where you find a credit are all mandatory courses for which there is an assignment there is an exam to be conducted what are these credits these credits are weightages right normally all our core courses are four credits there are some fundamental courses of two credits these are weightages given what does it mean for you that means once you take an examination for this particular course once you successfully complete the exam you get this number of credits this weightages how it is going to helpful for you i'll just show you a simple illustration suppose these are your exam marks your pass mark is greater than 40 you can say go 40 50 50 60 70 up to 100 you can score appropriate grade marks are will be given right this will be printed in the mark sheet and for each grade there is a grade letter that is given starting from your uh, greater than 40 means d plus onwards right till a plus there is a description given for each grade so once the exam is completed you will get the credits accordingly as per the grade points these grade points now what is a grade point average is nothing but the sum of multiplication of your grade point average which is nothing but the marks as well as the weightages for the course credits right suppose somebody getting say 70 marks right for 70 marks 7 is a uh, the grade point average four credits so 4 into 7 28 likewise the sum of all such uh, sum divided by the total credit for a mba it is 24 credits per semester it is your semester gpa to get the semester gpa you should clear all the papers and get the credits if you don't clear a paper it will be zero credits will be awarded and then you will not be able to get the semester gpa so you have to reappear for the exams at a later time to clear the paper and get the credits earn the credits and then get ready for the final degree is that clear so every four credit subject when i go to the lms learning management system it will have 14 to 15 chapters right you can see the number of chapters or units we call it as so each chapter is a modular approach you have to study in an order right if you have five subjects in bba study one particular course one chapter you complete go to the next course do the first chapter go to the next course do the first chapter likewise you have to do so that the progress is uniform let me just take an example of how to study from the chapter we have seen in our earlier discussion that you have a four quadrant approach any chapter you can see there will be a four quadrant approach right the first quadrant is going to be the e tutorial what is e tutorial here you get all the lectures pre recorded lectures by the faculty interactive lectures right and these are going to be helpful for you sharing you the required knowledge in the course let me just show you the structure of it is you can see each of this link is a lecture class video the class that is conducted by the faculty and recorded and put up here so let me just play one of the videos right introduction to marketing management right introduction to overview introduction to marketing importance of marketing all of this lectures given by the faculty even though it is not mandatory that you need to complete all the lectures as and when time permits please go through these lectures let me just play one of the videos and uh, welcome students uh, the topic for today's uh, discussion is importance of marketing so apart from contributing to the development of the nation marketing has greater importance uh, for its uh, contribution to the society 
and individual business firm. Now let's look into some of the learning objectives uh, for this uh, topic. So at the end of this topic, you will be able to recall various importance of marketing and would be able to differentiate between marketing and selling. Let's discuss the importance of uh, marketing. Now let's see the importance of marketing to the society. Marketing is a connecting link between consumer and the producer. Marketing process helps in bringing the goods and services to the retail shops from where the consumer can avail those goods and services for their consumption. And again, marketing you know, hugely contributes in eliminate, elevating the standard of living of people. Now, because of so, mass production. These lectures are already recorded, access is given to you, and as and when time permits, go through these lectures. And very important to note, Transcripts are available to these lectures. So before the exam, you can just download the transcript. Any resource given in a PDF format, you can download. You can see the download button here. The gist of all the videos are present here. It is easy. Instead of going through each and every video, if you download the transcript and study from that, people who are, want to study, people have the habit of more reading, they can go through this and get the best out of the faculty, what they are trying to describe. Right. So each of these videos, the transcripts are also available. So videos from the faculty and not only from the faculty. Right. We have experts talking about the, the chosen topics in every subject kind of thing, wherever it is possible. We have got the perspective view of experts. Let me just play one video of how the experts share their view on the dynamics of marketing. If you look at, uh, uh, you know, 10 years back or 15 years back, uh, most of the marketing uh, activities have been done in a such a way by putting a focus on product or a service by a company. And then the ask for a marketing team is to just promote it or, you know, create a reach awareness or build the brand, build the product. What has changed in this modern marketing and why it has changed is when you put invest more on product and services, you, you, you are basically not solving the uh, needs and needs gaps of a customer. You are not basically solving the uh, what does customer wants. We're basically trying to fit in our product to customer. Whoever needs, they'll buy it. But we're not trying to solve anything which customer is uh, facing. For me, uh, marketing, it's all. So you get the faculty view, the perspective view from the industry experts. All those things are already recorded. It is access is given to you, right? So you have the faculty view, the different topics they discuss, the expert talks. And also we have got some senior faculty members of our group addressing the marketing from their perspective view. A lot of good videos are there. Let me just play one of these videos, scope of marketing. Hi, let us discuss about the scope of marketing in this session. Mobile handset manufacturing companies keep releasing the updated versions of their popular models frequently. What are the decisions and processes involved in this? Does marketing have anything to do with these decisions? What does marketing include in its ambit? Let us understand the scope of marketing. At the end of this video, you will be able to explain the scope of marketing. Describe the important features of marketing. Take this scenario. If your organization intends to launch a new series of laptops with an innovative feature of fingerprint authentication, how do you develop a marketing plan? How do you go about? You would obviously have to analyze if there is a need for this existing in the market. And what are the price implications? How do you promote this feature as a part of the overall promotion approach? How do you advertise? 
so we get different perspective view on different important topics pertaining to the subject from faculty senior faculty members experts and all such videos you will find the transcript the transcript will give you the gist of all the videos that is given there either you can go through the videos or you can download the transcript and study so that is what is present under the e tutorial so illustrative videos right and very interactive videos are there under e tutorial but as i discussed before among all the four quadrants e content is a important quadrant where we have given you the book right let me just take marketing the book that is written by the university faculty for you for you to learn thoroughly it is going to help you to learn the subject it is going to help you to prepare for exams you can also download the book you can do it offline right you don't have to read it online these books are well researched written in a simple language self learning material we call it as right see the topics that is discussed here right all these sub topics are there it starts with a simple introduction about the topic what is discussed and each sub topic is then opened up and for every end of every sub topic you will find question answers so the question answers are going to help you to prepare for the exams as well these question answers are there questions are given right and then each of the topic the topic subject name itself can be the question for example what are the different type of markets for a five mark question 10 mark question so how do you define markets based on geographical coverage this how the questions are framed so basically if you read the book i can assure you nothing less than 70 80 marks in the exam read thoroughly from the book right and you don't have to memorize and reproduce it read understand and get ready for the exams at the end of every topic you will find question answers question answers so you will find so these are the topics that is getting discussed at the end of this you will find again questions there are some activities case studies again the next topic very simple illustrative language again questions right likewise if you read from the book it is just enough for you to be prepared for exams as well so once all these topics gets over finally very important one right you will find glossary right you will find the terms the description of various terms of that is used in this particular topic all the questions are there right now towards the end you can find the glossary meaning and also you will be able to uh, get the terminal questions explain times of marks uh, briefly explain origin of marketing all these questions are important answers for the questions whatever questions asked these are all the answers for the questions are given right answers for terminal questions are there just pointers are there reference books additional reference books by the faculty it is not a must you have to go and buy these books the reference books are important you can just go there and refer these books right reference links are given all those things are what you need to study it is all already given to you so what you should do dedicate your time make a plan study every day make it as a learning day right every day one hour two hours you should study if you do this you will be comfortably able to complete everything right so this is what is the second quadrant which is more important and also we have given you the same book in the epub format so the content is the same if using a mobile you can study with the appropriate epub reader in addition to that lot of curated links are given articles are given which will expand your horizon of thinking expand your learning curve right so news board blogs all those things are given by the faculty members so e content i am repeating is the most important quadrant books for you to read we have provided no campus will give you books to read but we are giving you for online learners tutorials are there recorded lectures now if you have a doubt what you should do go to discussion forum discussion forum you can see there you can go there and raise your academic doubts course related doubts right you can see lot of doubts already raised answered by peers answered by our faculty so all these things are already there so whenever you post a doubt a peers and answer and the faculties will be answering them 
right if you have any new doubt just go to a new thread start a new thread in this particular chapter content related doubt you can write your question you can give a title question write a description about the question any attachment support documents you have just give that one any reference to the you want to refer to our books you can refer here and then post the doubt the faculty members concerned the other peers will be able to answer your doubts this can be done like a quora 24 by 7 you can keep getting your doubts clarified which is not possible in a campus mode of education right calendars are there only for doubt clarification faculties will again connect with you right every during the week days so that is also there the last one being the assessment so the quizzes are given there so go to that particular quiz attempt that quiz number of times you can attempt multiple times right is a very interactive platform so you will now get to know that when the quizzes are there you will be able to say for example you read every question answer them it is like your mcq right and you know if you are see it shows what all you have answered here likewise you can answer if you are not sure about some questions you don't have to answer them right if you know the some you can attempt to answer them right once you answer all these questions you can see you have not answered 6 7 8 you have answered 9 all those are indications for you once you finally this is not for marks this is for practicing this is for studying this is for learning once you submit these quizzes at the end right there are a lot of good quizzes out there which is going to help you to prepare for exam so if you do this thoroughly you will get good marks in the exam once you complete once you submit it it will give you a warning of how many you have not answered right you have not answered most of them you can either go back and answer them or you can submit the quiz once you submit the quiz now see what happens now it will show you the question and the answer whether which is the right you have sorry to interrupt sorry. but uh, students are unable to view your video they are saying it's blurry uh could you please stop sharing and uh, reach yeah. connection yeah back? sure yeah just a second is it better now can i continue uh not yet just a second students can you please message on the q and a tab if you are now able to view the content clearly i think i made it still better Is it okay yes sir yes yeah okay thanks sorry for the inconvenience okay so this quizzes we are discussing and when you take these quizzes it will help you to reinforce the learning it will help you to assess your learning and help you to prepare better so um let me just quickly show you and uh, also it will show the right and the wrong answers right so that is what we were discussing so when i submit the quiz yeah, unlimited time you can take the quiz it will tell you which questions you have not answered then it will once you submit it will give you an indication that you have not answered this is the right answer and, and whenever you have answered something wrong it will tell this is wrong this is the right answer so likewise it will give you the yeah, updates and information when you have chosen something right you can find this is right this motivates you that you have understood the concept well and again and again you can take this quiz unlimited number of times so that is the important of the assessment so likewise for all the chapters let me go back to the modular structure if i go to all these chapters any chapter you take you get the e tutorials the video lectures the transcripts you get the e content the books which you can download if required the discussion forum you can also actually go and raise your doubts and get it clarified the assessment or the quizzes 
So learning is not interrupted. Learning is facilitated in different forms, different modes, right? So keep doing this and there is going to be no dearth for learning and no dearth for support from our side, right? Now, let me just also, uh, for those learners who have enrolled for IT program, please note, that you will have practicals also, as I told you, right? So if you take, see, for example, a BCA learner, you will see programming in C is a theory. Programming in C it is a practical. In a practical, you will be given a lot of exercises to work. And where are you going to do this? In the programming lab, right? So when you go to the practical courses, when you go to the classroom, you will find in the content, you will find a series of exercises which you have to practice. The handholding will be done by the faculty. These are guided exercises along with the tutorials. Questions are given for which you can go and practice there. Please wait. The faculty will do the orientation and then they will enable the virtual programming lab for you. Once in the virtual programming lab, you will be able to work in the lab and you can get the best of the experience of coding compiling, executing programs, getting the output, correcting errors if required. All these things will be guided by the faculty, right? So programming lab is enabled and you will be able to do everything over there without any interruption. So that is important, right? So this will be your lab, your assessments are here. You can go and start the coding, right? And you can just do the coding and get practiced. Faculties will be guiding you how to use that one, right? And uh, you will go to you will just a seamless access to the programming lab. In the programming lab, you will have questions to see and how to answer it, solve it, and where to write the code, how to compile, how to run, execute, how to submit. Everything is enabled for you. For all the practical subjects, the programming lab is the one place where you are going to enjoy the programming part, right? So that is important for you. And uh, also, uh, then we will uh, just go uh, just a second. Um, yeah, now we have seen about for practicals, about theory, about classes, right? And uh, the notifications, we have seen how to get yourself notified. Now I want to introduce uh, for every uh, course, right? There is going to be an assignment also, right? Now these assignments will be uploaded in the learning management system, right? And every learner is expected to submit the assignments. Let me explain an assignment now, how it is to be done, right? You can go to the course, if it is human resource management, you can see the courses there. Before we go to assignments, we also discussed about the live classes. Right. So once the uh, weekends, we are going to have these live classes. After the class is done, the live classes the sessions are recorded and you'll see the recorded sessions over here. It's always starts with the course introduction, program introduction, which is going to happen from this coming Sunday for you people. Right. All such sessions gets recorded and each class is going to be a live interactive classes. And I'll just play one of the live classes for you. And you can go there and redo this class. You cannot get this experience in the campus. You cannot ask faculty to teach again and again. But here faculties, you can we record all the lectures Learning of the faculty. Objective for today's session. In today's session specifically, we are focusing on this unit only because it's very important sort of unit I find. So you should be having clarity on this. So job analysis helps in basically analyzing the resources of the organization. It's not always happened that whatever or the maximum resources can make us win or perform us better. It's not there. We have number of examples where the limited resources also helps us to achieve which we wanted to achieve. So in the organization, it's not only that we should have sufficient resources or extra resources or fulfilling resources. It should not be, but the right so these sessions, as I told you, only four classes per week. Saturdays, two classes, second half, and Sunday, two classes at first half, right? Sundays afternoon, there are no classes. So live classes are recorded. If you miss these classes, you can come back and play those recorded sessions. 
it will be sequenced also these live classes you can access from the course home page directly so easy access is given to you you can see the under the announcements right you can see all the class sessions one by one right one two three four five six live classes are recorded and put up here so you don't get to miss out on anything now coming to test and assignments yes you have assignments to submit right so now assignment folder you can go there and you can see your assignment and the last date will be mentioned by the university please ensure that it is all notified for you already you don't have to ask somebody what is the last date it is well known you will be given two and a half three months time and assignment question paper is given you can download this question paper i will just help you to see the how to download it right you just click here in the file you can see the assignment questions as i told you for all the courses there will be two sets of assignment right so you can see set one and set two three questions in each set marks are 30 each 30 for us set one 30 for set two average of it will be taken average not the total suppose if we don't address set one at all you will be given zero 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 marks and set two only if you address you get 30 marks so average of this is going to be 30 by 2 15 so please attempt all the questions please attempt all the questions all questions are mandatory in assignment there is no choice in assignment and how many words you should answer for a 10 mark question it is 400 to 450 words so the guidelines are given right in the assignment you will find the complete guidelines for a learner you will see how to submit assignment what is the last date how many words you should write type rather no pen and paper for a five marks it is 200 to 250 words for a 10 marks it is 400 to 500 words a4 size in the in a word format not handwritten only pdf format right and please note assignment is not cut copy paste you can refer any book any ebook any web resources but don't copy paste your assignment we are checking for the the your own genuinity your own work over there you can refer any source but you have to read learn and reproduce it as your own work in the assignment plagiarism scores will be visible higher the score your assignment the originality of the work is not there you should keep the score as minimal as possible 10 20 25 30 exceptions are definitions you can't define this is already defined so those things are okay but describing illustrating explaining all should be in your own words write neatly in online no pen and paper right submit it on time as for the guidelines in a pdf format and kindly note when you are working on the assignments keep revising it keep verifying it and when you are submitting be doubly sure by mistake what happens learner will submit statistics assignment in hr hrm assignment in finance please don't do it faculties will not be able to give you marks for such wrong uploads it is very clear if hrm you are doing the assignment and uploading it should be in hrm type if you are going to submit finance assignment in HRM, you are at the loss. Please don't do it. Be careful for the respective assignments. You have to upload it correctly. And if it is a marketing paper, you will upload marketing. You will upload business communication. You go there and go to business communication, go to the assignment and upload from there only. So choose the respective courses and upload it. Don't make the mistake. Right? That is more, that is very important. And also for exams right examinations will be held as per the calendar I, we discussed already right in examinations when it comes to that you have the model question papers right so it's given in the lms itself you don't have to ask can i have question paper access it is part of the book itself when you study from the book you get to get all the questions for the, for the exam there's nothing separate right after the live class links you can see model question paper you can see how a question paper will be framed the model is very simple you will get mcq 10 questions no choice 20 marks we discussed no negative marking then we have short questions where it is six questions are asked you have to answer only four each will carry five marks 
right? You have to answer up to 250 to 300 words in the exam. Long questions, you, there are four questions, you have to answer only three, 10 marks for each, 30 marks. So total is 20 plus 20 plus 30, 70 marks. Three hours for exam. Just don't write, hurry up and come. So don't write, complete in one hour, one and a half hours. Make use of the time, two and a half, three hours. Think about it. Frame the answer in your mind. And then write the exams online in a very beautiful sentence you have to write. To the point you have to write, no stories. So when you write to the point, it will get good marks. And there is enough time. An average learner can complete the exams in two to two and a half hours. We have given you three hours for the exam. And during the exam, by chance, due to unforeseen reason, if there is an internet failure, power failure, don't worry. Whatever you have typed, till the last minute it gets saved. You have to just re-log in and start attempting the exams again. But after three hours, you will not be able to log in. Three hours is the time. You should keep a proper system. You should check with your technical team before the exam starts. And then you should do the exams uninterrupted without any unfair practices and do the exams well at your own place of convenience as per the slots booked by you. That is important, right? So this is about the examinations. So we have covered some important ones. Let me just go back for some frequently asked questions now, right? I hope my screen is visible. Yeah. Let me just take uh, this questions which is asked by learners. Is online mode of education recognized? Yes, of course. It is a formal mode of education approved by University Grants Commission, the regulatory authority in India for higher education. So what does it mean that once you complete this course, you can get a valid degree and this degree is recognized across the globe for higher education, for job prospects, for career options, career enhancements, you can use this degree, right? It gets accredited by other accreditation agencies across the globe and will help you to get the transcripts to send it to the agencies. When I talk about transcripts and accreditation, people ask, is your degrees recognized by WES? Yes, WES do recognize our degrees. In fact, WES recognizes all degrees which are approved by UGC. So they, when they ask for the transcript, you just notify us, we will give you the transcript and you can submit to WES or rather we can submit it on behalf of you because only institutions can write to WES and submit them. We'll do it on your behalf for a nominal fee and you can, for immigrants who are going to US, Canada, we will help you with the WES accreditation. We have done for many learners we can do for any deserving learner, any accreditation agency, we can write to them, right? And these degrees actually are recognized as a formal mode of education and mode of delivery is online, which will be printed in the degree certificate in the flip side and all the mark sheets as per the UGC mandate, right? Along with that, it will have your program name, your name, identification. Please check your name, how it is mentioned, spelled correctly. So names will appear in the degree certificate. If there is any challenge, call us, write to us. We will verify the records. We will get the right name done there based on the records, based on the university norms and the regulatory norms, right? Your program duration with the university seal, signature, mode of delivery online, everything will be mentioned. The program name will be there in the certificate. Your electives, which you will opt for in the final year, MBA, BBA, MCA, BCA, other people, the electives that you are going to choose will not be part of the degree certificate. It will hamper your career prospects. It will be given in the mark sheets and the consolidated marks card only. Right? The elective details will be mentioned there. And you will be choosing the electives in the final year of the course, along with the project that you will be doing. Right? In the first year, there is no elective. Electives are always designed. Why in the last year? Because that is the time when you connect yourself to the industry. What is important for you? What you want to focus on will be your choice of elective, will help you with the elective. And you will choose elective in the last year where you will do specialized courses. And then you will do a project work in the chosen elective. All those things are important. There is a project report you will be submitting. We will be conducting orientation sessions for the project. Guidance for the project will be given. For every activity, how to write assignment, 
how to appear for exam how to do the project for all such activities there will be orientation by faculty please attend to those orientation the mock sessions that you will be taking before exam we will be notifying you we will give you calendars for every activity you have to just stay connected with us right so we know about e tutorial e content e pub all our learning resources we have given to you enabled this for you already for semester 1 start using this from today keep learning more focus on the e content chapter by chapter you have to read learn and get ready for exams questions are there answer those questions you will be ready for exams read and answer those questions right so and attendance just don't worry about attendance keep learning every day right so this attendance is going to be marked by default by the system based on your engagement based on your continuous learning so as you read your attendance is marked right and you, you have to do three things you remember what are the three things one is uh, the learning right read from the e content submit assignments on time right two two and half to three months or that right and also very important one attend the live classes get an opportunity to interact with faculty once in a while if you don't attend the live classes it's fine but go through the recorded sessions at any time you can do that one your attendance is all taken care by that one right live classes i showed you where the calendars are there how to attend the live classes i have already discussed with you not attending live classes is not going to impact your attendance just you have to be focused on that and keep going through the recorded sessions as well right so recorded sessions links will be uploaded in a week's time you can go through it number of times that is required your connect with the faculty batchmates all is going to happen through lms only there are no separate whatsapp group telegram group even though we use whatsapp for service support other issues and your peer to peer connect and learner connect will happen during the live classes over the weekends as well as using the discussion forum whenever you have a doubt your other peers other learners will be happy to resolve that for you moderated by the faculty they will be answer your queries but let it restrict the discussion forum only to academic and content related queries right so live classes we have discussed doubt clarifications every weekday there will be a calendar for doubt clarification this will be uploaded in the portal and be ready to attend such classes as well make every opportunity to connect with the faculty electives we discussed it is going to be in the final year don't worry about electives now whatever electives that university is offering you will be able to pick them up in the final year for mba learners in the third semester for bba learners in the fifth semester for bca in semester 5 and 6 for mca semester 3 and 4 right internal assignment mandatory to submit assignment only one assignment per course per semester right how to do no writing only typing online submitting as a pdf guidelines will be given faculties will conduct orientation session they will discuss the questions also how to submit also make the best use of it and submit as a pdf only right no other tools uh, no no handwritten all the tools required for doing it online will be made available to you you need a calculators you need online tools you need statistical functions formulas you have to write tables you have to draw all the tools will be online no pen and paper in exams as well what you don't happen to submit assignments if you don't submit assignments right you will not be able to get marks for the assignment right please make it a point to submit the assignments on time right so that is important so you will get marks for the assignment as well 30 marks are there for assignment having said that in the case of practical subjects for bc and mca your marks ratio is reversed practical courses will have 70 marks for assignment because throughout the semester you will be doing lot of exercises and submitting them for evaluation so 70 marks for practical assignment examination 
there is just two questions you have to answer and there is a viva voice which you need to attempt so 20 plus 10 30 marks is given for exam so only in the case of practical courses 70 marks is for assignment and exam is for 30 marks which includes 10 marks up for viva whereas for all theory courses assignment is for 30 marks exam is for 70 marks the breakup we have seen exams windows system laptop desktop no mac no other operating system stable internet connection is required due to unforeseen reasons if you are just exiting from the system within the three hours you will be allowed to log in and continue the exam and without any disturbance whatever you have typed is all saved by default you don't have to retype again you don't have to start from beginning you have to just start from where you left right if you have written almost you are going to complete an answer you will just complete that answer and you will continue so there's nothing you lose even for assignment or for exam no no pen and paper no upload of papers no upload of images is all typed online please make a point to practice typing very easy an average learner can complete it will with will within the time so just practice it and there's no challenges for that physical certificate is not after every exam only when you complete the course successfully and be eligible for the award of degree your online degree will be printed signed by the highest authority of the university and will be issued to you in a printed form it will be dispatched by the university to your communication address wherever you are there in the globe along with the consolidated marks card right your communication address will send the degree copy exams are only held over the weekend three slots are there right friday saturday sunday three three slots per day the exam starts at 8 30 in the morning until late afternoon 3 30 is the last slot so you can choose the slots for the exam right and which day you want to write which exam is as per your choice right but appear for the mock exam mock exam is mandatory model question papers are given already will be given to you also right so appear for the mock exam have a clear understanding of the exam platform right book your slots on time take help if required if you have already booked the slots for some unforeseen reason you are not able to take get your slots rescheduled without any paying any extra money but if you don't appear for exam you have to pay a nominal fee to appear again after the exam timelines are over that is important right so within the calendar month please clear all the exams right i don't want learner to pay the fees and take exams again and also please note there is no improvement choice once the first attempt should be your best attempt i say that i have scored 60 i think i can score better can i reappear for the exam no university norms does not allow for you to reappear for exam each exam is for three hours right make use of the three hours in a wise way this is a snapshot of the welcome email all the required guidelines links how, what is the link to student portal, how to install student portal, how to install teams, right? Then related to your other guidelines, everything is given, e-library access is given, how to access e-library. All those guidelines are given here, right? So just go through the portal, Kosara, the detailed description about what is Kosara, how it is going to be helpful for you, all are given, right? So everything is at your fingertips. Also now very important to note that during the course, there will be a lot of engagement with respect to placement and career advisory. Every semester, you have some sessions which we have planned already. There is some placement services, some career advisory sessions are all planned. It will be delivered as per the timeline. But it is very important to note that you should be an active student without any academic backlog to avail these services. So be focused, be prepared, get good marks, get all the related services. So we have a detailed plan for you for your placement services. I request my, my colleague Ujwal to talk to you in detail about it. Ujwal, over to you. 
Thank you, Ramkisa. This is a question a lot of you have asked in the Q&A, uh, so we're going to address it now. All right, Anurag, SK, Shivam, you all asked questions on campus placements. Um, so Manipal University, Jaipur, we offer career support services and that includes placement assistance as well. So each semester, what we do is we focus on preparing you for the job market through industry readiness sessions and various skill development programs. And as you progress in your program, the trainings will become more specialized, more advanced semester to semester to help you hone those skills that you will need to be successful at work so you can be productive from day one itself. Uh, I would like to, um, okay, what this does mean is maybe in your first semester, we'll recommend some online courses because you have a lot of getting used to the system to do. So we're not going to burden you with a lot of classes like live classes and live trainings. So the first semester will be slightly lighter where you can pursue courses uh, by yourself uh, on your own time. You can take your time and you can, we will make the recommendations and you can do those courses. From your second semester onwards, we have, professionals from the industry. These are corporate trainers. They've been part of HR. So they will be taking live classes on a weekly basis. And they cover all kinds of topics that you will need, the skills you will need once you join the workforce. Um, things like how to make presentations, how to be impactful, uh, your business etiquette, email communication, uh, grooming, etiquette, all these things, how to make a CV, how to present yourself. We will have, we'll cover the entire spectrum from end to end from your second semester onwards. These are going to be instructor-led. Even our head of placements will be taking a session with you, telling you how you need to work on the placement portal. So we will handhold you through the whole process. Now, what I would like to highlight is the eligibility criteria for placement assistance. While everybody will be, Innings, the instructor-led trainings, and you know you can pursue the courses that we recommend. The placement assistance has a eligibility criteria. So all students in the final year of their program are eligible for campus placements, provided they complete their program in the minimum duration without any breaks or gaps in their semesters. And of course, you should have you know you should ensure that you've passed in all your exams and there are no arrears pending. This means if you decide to take a break between your semesters for whatever reason, um, then you would have a gap in your semesters and then you will not be eligible for the placement aspect of your career support services that we're going to offer you. So please make sure there is no gap. Make sure that once you complete the exams uh, of your first semester, you re-register to the next semester and start that. So make sure there's no gap so you can make use, you can benefit from this campus placement. Um, Anurag, I hope that answers your question. SK, if there are any more, please put them in here in the Q&A tab and we'll address them a little later. Ramki, sir, back to you. Thank you. So learners, we will be giving you all the assistance and uh, please ensure that you stay connected with us. Be always an active learner with good academic record and uh, please keep uh, uh, going through the Coursera program, update your CV, LinkedIn profile. All these are going to help you to get a better career options and career enhancements uh, features when you are, whenever you are going to appear for such services. So just get ready for it and be participative, be interactive, be connected with us, right? So what next? Log into portal every day, right? And the university email ID is the credentials for you. Teams is going to be the platform where we are going to interact frequently. Using your, I uh, use your app also to learn. Coursera is going to be the uh, helpful tool for you to hone up your skills in the long run. Start learning and keep learning every day. Happy learning to all my learners. And uh, any challenges you face, don't hesitate to talk to us. We are going to ensure that your journey is comfortable and you will have a good experience. Right? Um, so, with this, we are going to complete. Now, uh, just we are a phone call away, right? Uh, our help desk email ID is there, help desk at the rate mujonline.edu.in. It is mentioned in the welcome mail as well. Any challenges you face, please write to us so that we get it addressed in the right way as per the university norm. Also, we are just a phone call away, 799 
our support team is there to resolve all your queries and issues so stay connected with us and enjoy the experience of online learning and uh, just we wish that you complete the course on time and have a good experience of doing this program ujwal over to taking questions from learners all right rushikesh ingale you have asked why are classes only on saturday and sunday uh, and deep shikha you have asked are there only two classes that are there okay so the online program degree program is designed uh, to be completely online we encourage self paced learning which is why today if you log into the learning management system your learning portal you will see that your content is already there so you can start studying right away the reason we have classes the live classes are only on saturdays and sundays are because a lot of you are working professionals and we can accommodate everybody during that time deep learning shikha, is every day keep learning every day classes will be at weekends and the doubt clarifications over the weekdays but learning is going to happen every day learners have to be connected with the mentors and faculty every day that is also there no problem yeah continue sorry so janvi you asked uh, how much time a lot of you have asked actually how much time do we need to set aside during the week for these so please yes do start your self paced learning set aside about uh two hours a day that should suffice make sure you cover all the content that is there on the lms on the learning management system and you should be good to go okay um deepshika your question about are there only two classes uh there are live classes we will be giving you a couple of slots all the entire schedule or whatever's coming up be it your guest lectures webinars your live classes doubt clearing sessions all the details will be put up on the learning management system on the right for the for the benefit of all learners maximum you will have four classes every week on a weekday on weekends only two on saturday two on sunday each class is for one to one and a half hours right which will be interactive please attend those classes saturday second half two classes sunday first half two classes four classes four different courses will be held every week right and also weekdays there will be doubt clarification for all the courses two hours every course every week all will be calendarized and put up yeah yeah all right moving on devya your question is can we attend a semester exams at any time semester exams are calendarized so we'll give you a broad calendar for example your semester one exam will be held february march 2023 this is will be your first attempt regular attempt likewise as per the calendar for that session there is a first and the regular attempt is given if you don't uh, this is a free attempt also if you miss this session then you have to appear for the exams the next six months down the line by paying a nominal fee for each paper so regular attempt is already fees is paid in the semester fee and there's no extra fee but if you miss the exam if you don't clear the exam you have to reappear for it in the next attempt by paying a nominal fee a lot of students adan uh, you was and and a whole lot of students are asking if they can visit the campus offline for offline uh, libraries to interact with their teachers to meet uh, shrishti gaur you also asked this question in case you need to discuss a certain topic in person with the faculty do we have the option to visit the university um your entire program like we mentioned is designed to be completely online so it does not require you to visit campus at any point in time it is that convenient of course and uh, shrishti to your question if there are uh, queries that you have please feel free to post it on the discussion board on the lms and your teachers will respond to you over there we also have doubt clearing sessions during the week so keep a list of your questions ready and during the doubt clearing sessions you can have them addressed live by your teacher ramki sir would you like to add to that yeah yeah so please we invite you to the campus in whenever you are in jaipur let us know keep come to the campus as a visitor Uh, come with your id card you can access all resources of the university you can meet the faculty even though it is not mandated as per the course it is not a must but if you want support from mentors faculty we are connected 
attend the live classes and you can call the mentor and you can connect with the faculty. We are there to help you, support you. Campus visit, as a visitor, you can always most welcome and come and see uh, visitors whenever you get time, whenever you pass through Jaipur. No problem. But it is not forced upon you. There is no scheduled classes will be conducted here for you. All classes will be held only virtually for you, including the exams, which will be online mode. That's the beauty of the online program. Your classes, your interactiveness, your engagement, your exams, all will be in the online mode. Thank you. There's a question, a lot of questions again, Ramki, on the convocation. Can we attend a convocation if you wish to? Yeah, why not? See, let me explain in simple terms. Every university have a convocation once a year, right? In the case of online, we have two semesters a year. That means there'll be two sets of exams that will happen. Two uh, groups of learners will pass out every year. Our endeavor is to hand over the degrees as fast as to the learner. So once you complete the exams, all the exams and successfully uh, be eligible for the award of degree, your degree will reach you directly, right? It will be sent to your address. We are also planning whether we can have an online convocation. That's a different one, which you are discussing. You have enough time. In addition to that, whenever convocation happens in the university, if anybody is interested to attend such convocations at your own cost and time, we'll send you an invite. You will be invited to such convocations. However, your degree certificates will be awarded to you and will be sent to your communication address as and when you become eligible for the award of degree. Thank you, Ankita. Harsha Agarwal, your question is, if we download any study material or video from the portal, will it remain downloaded in our phones or will it get deleted after a given time? Once you download, it becomes download to the local system. We don't delete anything. We can't, we have no access to your system. It is downloaded to you and you keep it there. How can we access your system? And this online material will be available throughout the course. It is just a copy or downloading. It is not downloaded from the file uh, kind of thing, right? It's just a copy or downloading. Access to online is uninterrupted, 24 by 7, 365 days. And your copy remains at your own system. Thank you. Okay, Sanchez Jindal, you asked, a couple of students actually had asked this question of how they can change the student portal password. So students, it gives you the option to change your password. You should find that option there. But in case you are having trouble, please feel free to email the help desk. They will guide you through this. So Sanchez, please drop in a message or just call the helpline and they will guide you through this. You can use the forget password or you write to us, we'll help you to get the password changed. Okay, there's a question on Coursera. Uh, whichever course we do from Coursera, do we get an individual certificate of that course? All right, let me clarify now. So uh, Coursera offers different types of courses. Some of them, most of them are the certification courses, which means, yes, you will get individual certificates of that course. They also have something called a guided project, which will, uh, it's basically instructor led. And this is great for you to learn, you know, get hands on experience on how certain platforms, certain tools, how they work. Because, uh, so what happens with the guided project, your screen splits into two and it's completely instructor led. So on one half of the screen, the instructor will be taking you uh, through whatever course it is you've signed up. For example, if it's a new uh, platform, a, a new tool that's been launched. And uh, so they'll teach you step-by-step -step instructions. This is how you log in. This is what you need to do for X, Y, Z. And in the second half of the screen, you will be following exactly what they are instructing you. And you learn how to use the platform in that way or the tool. So for that, you will not get a shareable certificate. There are certain things like a lesson, uh, which just helps uh, simplify certain concepts. You will not get a certificate for that. But most of the courses are, uh, you do get shareable certificates that you can share on your LinkedIn profile. Okay, Priyanka has asked, Priyanka and another student had asked, um, 
What if we wish to discontinue MUJ after the first semester? Is there any issues we face? The other question corresponding to that is, can we switch from an online course to an offline mode in two years or at any other time? Ramki, sir, would you like to uh, explain how the online offline conversion works? Yeah. Learners who have enrolled for online program will continue and complete their programs online, right? So the online, there is no challenges. Like a campus, suppose you are relocating to a different place for some reason, right? You may have to discontinue, but there's no reason for you to discontinue online program. Reason being, you can continue the same program, take your exams, keep learning wherever you are in the globe. If anybody is getting overseas, just you can continue the program from there on. However, if somebody would like to wish to discontinue, I wish no learners would like to discontinue the program because you will not have an option to switch over to offline mode from online. Online to offline, in between the program is not allowed, right? And uh, moreover, when you complete everything and go to a different campus, if you want to complete, it depends on the approval from the other campus if you want to do it in the offline mode. Normally, regulatory does not permit a movement from online to offline, right? So please make a point to complete the course online itself. Having said that, once you complete a program, the next level of the program, higher education, suppose undergraduate learners would like to do post-graduation or higher education, PhD. So the next program, you can do either in the online mode or offline mode. Suppose somebody is doing a BBA online, next they can do MBA online or offline. That option is there. But when you, before completing the program, there is no way that you can move from a online to offline or offline to online. Please make a note of this point. Thank you. Okay. Sankar Deshmukh, you've asked, do I need to log in each and every time into the Pulse app? Yeah, well, you log in once and save the credentials, you don't have to re-log in again. So it remains kind of thing. There's no challenges. Log in with the right set of credential and you can just keep using the app as long as you are a learner for Manipal Institute Jaipur online program. Okay, Om Prakash has asked, how can we make class notes to do revision in an exam time. Om, uh, this is this depends from student to student. I remember when I was in college, I used to put post-it notes on you know important pages and uh, study that way. But you can take notes, you can take printouts of the PDF, put in those post-it notes, however, whatever works for you. So please make notes um, and see what works best for you. Ramki sir, would you like to inform them about any other uh, tips over here? So what, what generally we, we the faculties try to help you is, one, we have given you everything for you to learn. Also, the faculty members, in addition to that, or you may request the faculty members, during the live classes, whenever they prepare any additional notes, any illustrations, which they demonstrate, which they explain to you, such activities are, again, uploaded to the portal. The notes prepared by faculty are uploaded to the learning portal so that you get to access that one. In addition to that, if you want to make your own notes when the faculty is conducting the classes and the recorded lessons, lessons we are anyway giving, you don't have to record anything. You can go and play those recorded sessions. Additional reading material, reading inputs, everything what the faculty uses, you can request them. They will upload in the portal. You can continue to access. But learn from different modes. Learn the things thoroughly. A lot of resources are there for you to learn. Right? It is not required that everybody should make notes based on your own learning habit and reading. You can just make the notes as simple as for you. And also faculties will support you to get the notes, what they prepare to share that with you. Thank you. Thank you, Ramki, sir. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions on mentors. When, how can I contact my coordinator or my mentor? When will our mentors be assigned? Uh, so all the students asking questions about your mentors, please know they will be contacting you. Give them a, a week or two and they will contact you. In case there is something urgent you need to discuss, please reach out to the help desk and we will look into the issue and guide you from there. Hetrat hey, Singh Raj, you've just asked that question as well. So please... Uh, like we said, please be a little patient. They'll contact you. They're contacting students one after the other. So your mentor will contact you soon. 
Utkarsh's questions. Where can we get old exam papers for an online MBA? Our exams are online. I explained to you all the questions are there in the book itself. When you read, I showed you model question paper is there, right? So just read the book, attempt all the questions and answers given as part of the content. You, you have the access to the questions in the book itself under the e-content. If you are prepared with that, also practice the quizzes, you will get better marks in the exam. If you're looking only say, I will prepare only using the question paper, that is not the way for learning and we don't encourage it. Online learning does not give you question paper. It's an examination which is conducted online. Whatever important questions are covered in the book, which I've showed you, it is part and parcel of every book, every chapter. So these are there for guidance and tips and just use this and that is more than enough. Thank you. Okay, Alok, we just answered the question of uh, the online to offline mode. Uh, so we're dismissing that. I presume you heard the answer. All right. Um, Many questions coming in about placements. Ranjan, you've asked, after completing my degree, what is the on-site placement scenario? Uh, let me just go through the other questions as well. Uh, Rushika Angale, you've asked, how many students have got placed through online Manipal? What about the packages? Gayatri, you've asked, may I know the companies tie up with your team for placement? Which companies hire? All right, let's see what the other questions regarding placements are. Ashrik, you've asked, placements eligibility has been informed. How good are the placement records? Okay. Um, one minute. Anil, you've asked, for how long are you going to provide career support services to us after completing the course? Okay. Simran, you've asked, when will the placement process start? Good question. Um, it's my miss. I should have mentioned this earlier. Can I get placement in the first semester if I have experience in industries? All right. Okay, let's address these. So Ranjan, uh, okay, everyone. So after completing your degree, what is the on-site placement scenario? Uh, your placement services will start in your final year. So once you enter the final year of your program is when you become eligible for placements. The companies will start coming for, so what you're going to do in the first year, you're going to create your profiles on the placement portal, get your, create your resume, all of that. Now in the last semester of your program is when the interviews will start to be scheduled. So uh, that is when the placements will start. Uh, we're going to be conducting them on a quarterly basis. So in a semester, you'll be able to apply to, you know, there'll be two uh, cycles. So you can apply to jobs. There will be, don't worry, all the jobs that you, um, you are eligible to apply for will be posted on the placement portal. And you will get access to those and you can choose which jobs you want to apply to. So all, we will take you through this closer to your uh, placement season. So don't worry about it. We'll take you through that. Now, um, okay, what were the other questions? Uh, how many students have got placed through online Manipal? The online degree programs started only last year. So in fact, our first batch of the MBA and MCA cohort, they are going, they're in their final year starting this year and they will be graduating by middle of next year. So where statistics are concerned, we'll be able to share those details with you only middle of next year. Packages, uh, again, Rishikesh, this is something we'll be able to tell you only next year, how it works out for the online degree programs. Gayatri, regarding the companies we tie up with, we have a really good network. Uh, we are looking at all industries, uh, the leading companies. We're looking at traditional companies. So you have your, uh, there's TCS, there's Bosch, there are a whole lot of companies, uh, IBM, a lot of companies, and depending from sector to sector, whether they're startups or they're older traditional established companies, we'll be getting all of them on board. Okay, Rishikesh, that answers your question as well. Uh, Ashik, 
placement records. Again, we'll be able to share that with you middle of next year. Uh, Anil, how long, your question is, how long are we going to be providing career support services after completing the course? Uh, we will be providing it until you are a student of Online Manipal, Jaipur. Um, okay, Simran, we answered that question about the placement process start. It will be in your final year, and in the final semester, you will be able to apply to the jobs. SK, your question about can I get placements in the first semester? Uh, placements will be provided only to students in their final semester. Okay, Zaidan, we've answered that question, the packages and how many placements companies will come. All of this we'll be able to share with you. Uh, Mayuri, we can't determine the number of companies that will be coming right now. Uh, we'll update you later. Uh, Mayuri, we've answered this question on the package details. Okay, there's a question on internships. So as far as uh, I'm aware, all none of the programs really, except for the MAJMC, the Master of Arts in Journalism and Mass Communication, mandate an internship. Uh, what each program requires is project work. And your faculty will tell you exactly, they'll take you through what they're looking for in that project and a separate session will be held on that. Regarding MAJMC, if your question is regarding internships for that, if you can't organize one for yourself, arrange one for yourself, we'll definitely help you with it. So please reach out to the help desk and we'll see what we can do to help you get that internship. Okay, Ashutosh Panda question has just come in. Is the placement process at par with offline courses or is there a difference in the placement process of online versus offline? Well, um, it's actually more convenient for online students because you don't really have to go to campus. Everything, all the good jobs uh, available anywhere in the country are going to be online for you. So you need to just sit where you are and apply to these jobs. The process is the same. The companies tell us, you know, these are the openings we have in our organization. These are the roles and skills we are looking for. And we post all of that onto the placement portal. And you have the luxury of being wherever you are. You don't need to travel to any place. You can apply to those jobs. Everything will be virtually conducted. So yes, uh, in fact, it's not at par, it's far better. The process is easier for you as an online student. Okay, we've answered all the placement questions. Vikas, uh, your question is, my question is assignment has to be written, is it, does it have to be written in front of a proctor or will I have to just submit it by typing it myself? Ramki sir. Assignments are called as continuous assessment. Proctors will not be required for assignment. Proctors are only for exam. That means in a university, when exams are conducted, there will be invigilators. So in the online cases, it will be the proctors. But for assignment, it is your own work and it should be submitted on time as per the guidelines, which gets evaluated by faculty. So just the timelines, you have to make a note of it and also the guidelines for submitting assignment. It is not monitored because you have to continuously work on assignment. It is not one day, one hour job, right? You have to start building the assignment slowly from day one, day two, day three, likewise. So that's why it's called as continuous assessment. You have to work on the assignment at least two months during the course, keep revising it, keep updating it, and then submit as a PDF. That goes for evaluation. Thank you. Will the Viva take place on MS Teams? Sorry, I'm not getting it. Will the Viva, the practical, uh, sorry, the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, are, we, are, we are working on the platforms for the Viva. Actually, our learning management system itself will facilitate the Viva. It won't be in MS Teams. We'll be doing it as part of the learning management system itself, where we can record those Vivas as well, like submitting an assignment. So we'll give you the guidelines for that. It is not on Teams. Okay, Shahzad Rain, you've asked a question about scholarships. Yes, we do provide scholarships. Uh, 
prior to taking admission, you may have gone through the website. Uh, scholarship details are mentioned there. If you haven't, please log on to muj.onlinemanipal.com and go to the program you've enrolled for. When you scroll down, there's a section on scholarships. Uh, we do provide scholarship to meritorious students, to public sector employees, uh, to specially abled people. So we do provide a series of scholarships. Uh, so you can refer to it over there. But that is during the admission process. Lubev, you asked, how are the mock exams conducted? Will we be notified whenever the mock exam is going to happen? Or is it already there on the portal? Uh, mock, our exams, mock exams will be notified. It will be limited days well before the actual exams. And it will be you will be installing the software for mock exam. It is just to ensure that whether you are, your system is ready for the exams. So there will be a, a calendar given for mock exam and you will be taking the mock exam to check the health of the system. And please note all learners, it is mandatory for every one of you to take the mock exam. Thank you. Yes, uh, in continuation regarding exams, Avad Kumar, you asked, can you please tell me the exam schedule and time and slot which university provides? So, Avad, the exams are usually held on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. We have a couple of slots for uh, different papers. So you can select. We'll, of course, be sending you all these details prior to the exam. You will have ample time to know what's coming up. You'll be given um, a, a booking system, an online booking system, so you can see which exam you can give on which day. If you see the screen, Ramki sir is sharing the exams FAQ. So we will be sharing all these details with you, the schedule, the time slot, and you can choose what is more convenient for you, most convenient. There's uh, someone with a display name, anonymous attendee, who, who's asked, what about additional courses that are provided by MUJ for BCA? Um, you can access those. We would strongly suggest exploring Coursera for the additional courses, uh, reason being, it's got content from the world over. There are educators, there are organizations. So they're putting in a lot of fresh content. So I think that would be your best source to get the additional courses. So please explore those. And like we mentioned, you know, when you log in from the student portal, uh, it will take you to the program you are linked to. So for example, if you are doing BCA, when you log into the student portal and you log into Coursera via that, you will be taken to your bucket on Coursera that has all the courses for the BCA program. And uh, you can start, those are the recommendations. You can start exploring those. If you have other interests, you can explore those as well. So please log into Coursera and you can see the additional courses there. Ramki sir, there's a question from Risu. Does Manipal help to connect with government to get subsidies to start a business? No, the institution will not be connecting. Institution will be giving you the letters, transcripts, some recommendations if required, but we'll not, we will not. government does not wait for our recommendations, whichever university it is, right? So you can talk to us with the specific request and we can consider that. Come with the clear guidelines and instructions and we can recommend based on that. Thank you. Jyoti Kumari, you've asked, tell me about the next live session in detail. All details of all live sessions will be uploaded on the learning management system. If you see Ramkisa's screen uh, on the right side column, all the upcoming events are listed. Uh, you click that, it's got links to the classroom. So it's very simple to follow. So please log your, in to... Go ahead, Ramkisa. Your next session scheduled, you will see the calendar highlight here for 25th of September, Sunday at around 10 a.m. You will get the calendar here and please, I invite all learners to attend it without fail. So likewise, every session calendar will be up updated here so that you will be notified and you will join from these links what we are giving you here. Thank you. So Jia Fatima, you also asked what will be the timings of classes. Please log into the LMS. Uh, on, in, today's in today's session, the Jumpstart session, we have students from all the programs. So please log in to your respective uh, learning management systems, to your respective learning portals, and you'll be able to see what's coming up for your program. A lot of you are asking when will online classes start? Please mention a date. Please log into the LMS. It's all there. 
Sumaira, the live classes are only on weekends. You've asked if the live classes are every day and is the time the same. Time remains the same, but there could be changes depending on availability, depending on other events. So again, please keep checking the LMS for the latest schedule. Uh, Ramki sir, Gayatri has two questions. Will the tech team contact us in person or will we have a session in general? And the second question is, in assignments, can we switch tabs and refer to contents, have our statements put forth? When you write assignments, it's from your system, you can refer to any content. You can give a reference to the content also, right? Suppose I'm referring this particular content, this article as a supporting that you can do, and you can refer to any content, but it should be in your own words. If you're giving a reference to articles or journals, you have to keep that references in the assignment as well. And regarding your exams, there is a tech support will be available. They will help you to install the software. We will also give you the guidelines how to install. It's a very simple tool, two minutes job. You can do it by yourself. Otherwise, if you have issues, we'll give you the support team number and support team will call you and help you to install it. Thank you. All right. Uh, there's a list of courses. Someone has posted a list of courses from Manipal ProLearn. Okay, what we would suggest is you can access those, but uh, why don't you look for these on Coursera? There are a lot more current content there as well. So uh, we would suggest logging to Coursera and you know looking for these. Otherwise, you can use your uh, Emuja email uh, username credentials and access the other courses as well. And of course, if you face any issues logging in, please raise a help desk ticket and they will guide you. Okay, there's a question on um, epic.u. I've heard something about an app named epic.u. Can you please elaborate what it is all about? I'm very happy you asked that question and it's actually going to be really good for you, especially since a lot of you have asked about WhatsApp groups and is there one place where we can connect with other students? So epic.u is a community for online learners. It is by the learners and it is for the learners. So what you can do is uh, sign on to that, the admin, and please use only your MUJ credentials because that's how you'll get access to it. The admin has to recognize you as an MUJ student. And then you can connect with other like-minded uh, students across the world and you can start your own channels, you can attend events, you can network with other people. Um, you can start your own channel where you can, you know, showcase your skills, present your ideas. There are certain contests. So it's really good fun. It's a mix of a lot of community apps. For example, it's like a Reddit and Clubhouse and everything put in together. And it's a very good, fun place to interact with other students. And the good thing is you will not be limited to only students from MUJ. There will be students from other colleges as well. So you get to, you know, uh, interact with them, you get to learn from them, your outlook will broaden. So it's a great place to interact with other people as well. So please do download it. And remember to use your MUJ credentials. Michael Jr., your question is, if we attend the Saturday and Sunday classes, do we get the required attendance percentage for the exam? I will, to the benefit of all the learners, let me summarize it. Learning requirement, otherwise called as attendance, is done by three different activities. One is the reading from the e-content. So first you have to prepare for exam. How do you prepare for exam? By reading books. Who has given the books? Institution has given the books. It is in your LMS. So read from the books. That will give you the best advantage for the attendance and help you to prepare for exam as well. Then attend the continuous live classes that is going to be there. So if you attend the live classes, you get not only the attendance, but an opportunity to interact with the faculty members and peers. If you're not able to attend the live classes, at least go through the recorded classes so that your attendance is again captured by using the recorded classes as well. The third and important, most important one, the not the least one is submitting assignments on time. Because when you work on assignments, you are engaged with us. Right, continuous engagement happens by doing the assessment as well. 
so assignment submission attending live classes going through the recorded classes reading from the e content whether it is in online mode or downloaded offline mode all these three things are your attendance and learning requirement please do these three things in addition to that you can go through the video tutorial quizzes that are there so that your engagement is more and your attendance is taken care thank you sk you have asked my shift will change in 15 days how do i take live classes uh we will be sharing the schedule of the live classes you see what is most convenient for you to attend if you can't take the live classes you can always watch the recording and if you have any questions you can post it on the discussion board any time of day or night and uh, your faculty will respond to that your peers will respond to that pratiksha you have asked we should be studying the unit 1 for every subject right ramki sir that's right so you have set of courses five four five or six courses and all required mandatory courses are already enrolled in your portal as well as in learning management system so when you are reading what you should do is take first course read one or two units from there move on to the next course read one or two units move to the next one like that it should be in parallel each course reading is going to supplement the other course as well it is better to read across courses so that the progress is also uniform you will get a better experience and you will be able to satisfy yourself for completing all courses in one go you don't only focus on one course keep reading from the first to the last chapter then start with the second that should not be the way you should be progressively it is like a college where you attend one class then the next one hour is other class then the next one hour is other class likewise every unit you need to keep moving from one course to other course thank you okay someone has asked what else are we supposed to know except the student portal well uh, quite honestly once you log into the student portal everything that you need for your online degree program is available there so you can access the learning portal from there you can go to your live classes so if you see the screen right now ramki sir is showing you you can access the online libraries you can access coursera you can access important university announcements uh, the tab that says your courses has the subjects that are going to be taught this semester a lot of you are asking what are we covering this semester please go there it's going to be there you can track your payments if you're having an issue you can raise a help desk ticket everything is on the student portal so abhijit you've asked how many subjects do we have that's where you can check it out um all all the others who've been asking about you know how do we do this how do we do that just log in to the student portal and it's got a link that will take you it's got all the information and uh, you can get it from there you can access other portals from there directly so yes that is a one stop shop for everything your academic and the support requirements everything is taken care of you can access your mark sheets records id card documents everything is here any challenges do write to us otherwise we don't want to we want to empower you or giving you all the access in one go we have done that please use the portal log in every day and log into lms and coursera also the, and keep learning every day okay cg is asking what are the benefits of the credit score mentioned in each subject of mba let me for the benefit of learners ramki sir you're on mute credits are weightages given for the course right so you can see the portal and you can see the more or less all the courses of online are four credits some fundamental courses are two credits practical subjects are two credits so once a credit is given it is a weightage for every course right now when you take an examination and you score marks which are given in the column 1 the grade points are given here in the format of and it will be printed in the form of alpha numeric over here like this one but here 
what happens the semester grade point average and the course grade point average the sgpa and the gpa for the course it is nothing but the credits of the course suppose mba learner has got four credits they score 70 80 70 80 marks so the credits multiplied by the grades is going to give you the total semester gpa it is a weightage it show you how important the course is it each credit is, is actually equal to 30 hours of study that is how we have defined so your self study your live classes your assignments your exams all inclusive your quizzes that you attempt all of that right so when you do this and finally in the award of certificate when it is given it will be given as what is the total number of credits you have obtained normally this credit shows that when you go from one institution to other institution they will ask how many credits you have earned so far suppose somebody says i have done my course i want to do my higher education so they will ask what is your